Hello everyone and welcome to the Processio channel. This is Mihai and today we're going to talk about how to track red emails. We're also going to talk about why it's important to track red emails and which are the scenarios in which you might need that, but also we will cover how to do that. Before we dive in, please make sure that you subscribe to our channel, hit the notification button so that you get notified when we release new videos and also like and share our video because this helps us a lot. So when would you need to track red emails? You would need that when you're doing email marketing campaigns or sales outreach campaigns or you're applying for a job or you're sending legal notices, you're sending newsletters or you're replying to support requests or sending internal communications, but also many other more. So how can you track red emails? We're going to use a tracking pixel. A tracking pixel is a one by one pixel image that we're going to place inside the header or footer of the email and is going to get downloaded as the email is opened and you can track the download. Now let's see how we implemented this by using our Processio technology which is a visual development, automation and execution environment. To accomplish this we created two processes. The first process is sending the email and adding the tracking pixel to it. The tracking pixel basically it's a Processio webhook link that gets downloaded and when it's downloaded it triggers the second process which logs the fact that the email was read. Now, let's check the actual implementation in Processio. We have the two processes and we're going to run the first one. As you can see here, you can set the email body, the email subject and the email to send to. Let's run the process and then check the instance to validate the process was executed. And sure enough, it did. Now, take a look here. We have an email a unique identifier that we're using to log in the database. Let's check the email to see if it was received and sure enough it was. Let's go to the database and we will see here the email that was sent. It is logged and we do not have any email openings. Now let's open the email and validate that we will see that the email was opened and sure enough here it is. Now let's go to the second process because this was the one logging the opening and you will see that the process was executed and it has the exact email ID. Now let's dig a bit deeper into what happens in the first process. The first action is generating a unique email identifier so that we can log this email in the database. In the second action, we're actually logging the email in the database with the unique email identifier. In the next two actions, we're forming the URL of the tracking pixel. And then we're going to store this in a variable, which is the actual tracking pixel. In the first of those two actions, we're going to encode the payload for the webhook. This includes the unique email identifier. In the second action, we're going to combine the webhook URL and the encoded payload, which contains the unique email ID. Now, the only thing remaining is to add the tracking pixel as an image to the email and then send the email. And that is how you track red emails using Processio technology. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you like and share it because it helps us a lot. And also make sure you subscribe to our channel and hit the notification button so that you get notified whenever we release new videos.